Hey everyone, welcome back to the new video and this is part 2 for Crepsec. And if you were following along in part 1, you know what we were doing, we solved a lab, we followed through episode 0 and this video is going to cover the further story and we are going to solve a lab again but this is intermediate level. So in this video, we are going to find out what actually happened, okay? And we're going to do that with Hidden Connections Lab, okay? So let's get into it. Here's a quick recap of the last video. We covered episode 0 where we learned about a facility conducting experiments on human subjects. And we also discovered that two subjects tried to escape the facility and maintenance staff were involved in it. So we hacked into the database tried to kill queries to gather more information. And then we found out that James Mitchell was the maintenance supervisor and was somewhere related to this whole event. And that's what we're going to cover in this video. So if you go to your dashboard, we can see that we covered episode 0 prologue and we covered visible whispers, which was beginner level. And now we have intermediate level and then we have an, another intermediate level. But first, we're going to start with hidden connections. Cool, so let's uh, read this overview a bit. Uncover hidden connections in the facility database master join operations to reveal who is investigating the maintenance staff conspiracy. So let's have a little context here. Based on the cafeteria conversation you overheard, which we actually covered in the last video, maintenance staff are involved in unauthorized access. Yeah, and my mission is to identify which maintenance staff member was flagged for security review and discover who flagged them. The archives contain internal notes about staff members. Some of these notes contain security concerns and investigation as well. And this will uh, help us to uncover the data to reveal the whole story. Okay, so that's what we're going to do now. We have three points in the mission. Find notes about mundane staff being flagged for security review. Identify who was flagged, their name, not just ID. Discover who flagged them. Investigator identity. Okay, so we can start the lab from here, stat lab. So many notes, investigations, concerns, observations, but who is investigating whom? These IDs tell me nothing. So let's click on continue. Okay, staff ID uh, S0003, that could be anyone, but this note mentions the exact same thing I overheard, unauthorized access. Okay, so I think this is the new table we are going to investigate. Let's move forward. Wait, the staff public table has all the names and departments. If S0003 works in maintenance, are you getting the point? Let me give you a bit more context. The first table we investigated in Visible Whispers lab, it was staff public table. And now this time we are investigating a different lab, probably around like notes something. We will see that soon. So the thing is, we want to find out the notes related to a particular ID. But the names of those ID involved were available in the staff public table. So that's why we are going to use the join operator to merge two tables to identify the information that we need. Actually, it will make more sense when I start doing it though, but I just wanted to give you context. I need to connect this table. The subject staff ID in the notes is a staff ID from the staff table. This is exactly what I just said. Okay, so uh, if I join these tables, I can see who's writing these security concerns and who they are writing about. Time to find out which security supervisor caught the maintenance staff red-handed. Okay, so let's see. Enter lab. Okay, so now we can see that we have another table over here, staff notes public. And this was the previous table we worked with. This is the new table. Let's, um, let's execute the command. I'm just going to um, write here, staff notes um public and execute okay so here we have this new table we have notes id subject staff id author staff id note type and note content and created at as well okay so now let's start solving a few questions let's move back here we have what is james mickel or mitchell staff id 
okay to find the staff id we gotta use a query let's type select staff id because we want to find staff id from staff public because we are using staff public table because staff public has id and names associated with those ids so it will help us select staff id from staff public where full name we know this column exists equals and then we will copy paste the name here great now let's execute it cool we can see the staff id now of james it's s0847 so let's answer it real quick yeah that's correct moving on to question number two we have how many investigation type notes exist in staff notes public table where the subject staff id is um, s0847 so basically you want to find the number of notes that is um, provided by s0847 who is basically james how many notes james have simplest okay so let's remove it okay so i have typed out the query here because i didn't want it to waste your time going back and forth and then typing it out but i'm going to explain you what's happening so it says select count from staff notes public what is doing we are basically trying to count the number of rows from the staff notes public table where the subject staff id is s0847 and this id belongs to james we know that okay and the note type is investigation so it's going to look for the note type note type is a column which contains word investigation and then it's going to give us um and then it's going to give us all the rows okay let's execute great because we use this uh, count operator we are getting the number of rows and there are actually three number of rows so let's go back and type the number here three great now use a join operator to find the full name of the staff member with staff id s7347 okay again we want to find the name of a particular staff id but this time we want to do it with join okay also join queries are like really important because database admins use this constantly to identify patterns and behaviors across data tables so every time you see personalized content on amazon netflix or even cryptsec your progress likes comments reviews everything is um, managed by these join queries working under the hood i mean you can do this uh, without using join as well like if i go back if you use this query like select like star from star public where staff id is this so if you use this it will show you and you can see here we are getting all the columns for the staff id and we got the name as well but we want to use the join let's see how we can use that as well so if you don't know what join is it helps you combine rows from two or more tables that's why it's telling us use that to help us learn how to combine tables you want to combine staff public and staff knows public okay so let's clear this out for now okay so let me paste it because i put it so now you must be thinking what's this uh, huge query let me explain you first we are saying select full name note type and note content from staff public this makes sense we are trying to select three columns from the staff public table now you must be thinking okay that's great but what's s over here what's n and what's this so these are basically alias for the table name we have table name staff public and we have given it alias s that's we are saying from that table select full name okay and now we have given a shortcut name or you can say alias for the staff notes public table and we call it n that's where we are saying select n dot note type because note type column only exists in the staff notes public this is actually really easy if you understand this way mm, staff id so staff id exists in the staff public table that's why we are saying s dot staff id where the id is s7345 which we were provided in the question 
so that's good to go and we are using the left join operator over here so that's the syntax we use for it hopefully this works let's execute and yes it works so now i've showed you two variations of how you could find the answer but the question wanted us to use the join operator so that's why we did it now let's go back and answer the question real quick sarah great we have answered the third question now let's move on to the fourth question use two joins to display investigation notes about s0847 james yeah investigation notes about james with both the investigator name and the suspect name what system was being tampered with okay let's go back to the query and clear it i have um a query and it's really huge that's why i'm just going to paste it and again explain it to you this one is actually a little more complex but what it's trying to do it's trying to find the investigation notes for the staff id um s0 i don't know what it was but it was for james james and um, it's also trying to link each note to who wrote it and who's it's about okay so we have select note content from staff notes public and then join staff public table as well and there we're using the on operator what on operator does the on operator here tells sql to match rows between tables so we have this row author staff id and we are trying to match it with investigation staff id so it links who wrote it and then over here we have is join staff public suspect on again joining i mean matching two rows subject staff id and um, suspect dot staff id where note type is investigation because we want to look for investigation type of notes and the subject staff id is 80847 uh, so we want to limit it to this particular staff id if we execute it okay there is uh, an error somewhere Okay, so I was wondering why I'm getting error. Then I refreshed the page and I saw that the lab is expired. Okay, back to basics. Um, let's paste that query we had. Let's execute it. And finally, we are getting the response. It's working. Uh, query output. Cross reference Mitchell tampering with uh, maintenance records found similar anomalies. Dating back years, this appears to be long-term preparation for potential breaches. Forwarding findings to Director Torres for action. So he was trying to tamper with the maintenance records. Mitchell investigation update found evidence of systematic ventilation tampering in sectors 4, 7, and 9. Uh, what was the question again? Um... With both investigator name and suspect name, what system was being... Yeah, it was ventilation let's copy it okay that's correct finally we are on to the last question what's the uh, role title of the staff member with staff id s7345 that should be a simple one and execute security supervisor okay that's great check answer okay yeah correct security breach confirmed someone was trying to breach okay you have uh, successfully traced investigation using join operations sarah taylor security supervisor has been building a case against james mitchell for weeks her investigation reveals systematic ventilation tampering across multiple facility sectors creating blind spots in security systems mitchell access patterns uh, suggest this is long-term preparation for potential subject breaches the conspiracy runs deeper than simple maintenance violations your mastery of join has revealed hidden connections that makes the data meaningful great we have finally uncovered more information about what was actually going on and then we have the next lab that is echoes of escape and we're going to cover this in the third part okay so hope you guys uh, learned something new about uh, sql you guys made notes hope you completed this lab let me know in the comment section if you are following through and learning new things thank you so much for watching like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one